Park. Hi guys, welcome to the course rules and demo for stage two. Uh, it's a fun course, it's a good time, and good luck to everyone competing. The general course rules for this course has a two minute and 50 second time limit. It's two fails and done, and unlike stage one, any fall counts as a fail. Meaning even if you get one point on a two point obstacle fall, we're counting that as a fall. Resets are not allowed on any obstacle, and if elements of an obstacle are not mentioned, assume they are out of play. Incidental contact and anything out of play may result in a fail of the obstacle. The first obstacle is the flash. You're starting on this red mat. Run up and come to get to the tall wall. Must run in a straight line through the posts, not around them. This obstacle's hands and feet. You may use as many or few bars climbing up the wall as you want. An obstacle is cleared when a competitor is standing on the tall wall. Go for it, on. Jeez. This obstacle is really only failable if you don't do it, Ellen. Yeah. Obstacle two is the claw. You're jumping to the claw that's sitting on an auto belay. You're only using the silver claw and the green aliens. You must use every element. There's a female modification that there's a green alien up top to swing to the claw. That's in for females. It will be gone for the males. So males are jumping out. Uh, females, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Um, your dismount is the red map, and this obstacle is hands only. Go for it, Alan. That's clear. Your next obstacle is open season, a log runner. You may only use the four white logs. This obstacle is feet only, and your dismount is the very last black mat. It will have red tape there for the cop to designate it, but watch for gate and dismounts. That's a clear. Your next obstacle is Baywatch. Competitors may only use the black portion of the salmon bar, the white and red rings to touch the silver bar. This obstacle is hands only. The start is the springboard for males and females will have a stool to the side. The male's bar starts on the fourth run. Female's bar starts on the fifth run. You are not allowed to transfer the bar to the other side, but you may take the same leather bar as high as you want to get to the life raft rings and clear when you engage the silver trapeze bar. Go for it, Alan. You may use as many or as few rungs as you choose, so yeah. Um, next obstacle is the greatest showman. Using the two provided weighted trapeze bars to get to the dismount. Competitors may and are suggested to put their feet on the sides of the lache cage and hands on the black support rails. What Owen's doing right now is fully legal. This is gonna help. The trapeze bars are hands only. Your dismount is the red mat. And because of the weights on this, it is suggested that you link it. Don't take the back swing. Go for it, Adam. That's it clear. Anywhere on or past the red mat is fine, just not short of it. Your next obstacle is Kung Fu Panda. And this is your first two point obstacle on the course. Competitors may only make contact with the nunchucks the bamboo trapeze bars, and the samurai hat at the end. Nunchucks may only be used on the bamboo hooks and the panda spinning box. The box will spin on contact and you force it to lock in. There is a female modification and they will be using rings instead of nunchucks. And all competitors must start hanging on the first tuck. Do not jump out, don't do anything weird, start hanging. Um, first point is given when a competitor makes any contact with that first bamboo bar. This obstacle is hands only. Your dismount is the big black mat. 
and the competitor must fully engage the samurai hat before dismounting. Uh, we've seen this enough. We know what fully engaged looks like versus touching and going by. Go for it, Dave. That's the first point. And that's the second. I'm gonna note that no matter where the Baywatch part was during your run, it will be pushed to the side so it's not in the way. Your next obstacle is Mission Impossible. It starts on the trampoline. You're using the three free spinning wheels to traverse to the dismount. Competitors must spin the ledge and drop to it before swinging to the next wheel. Wheels one and wheel three are forced padlocks. Number two is just a swing. Uh, there is a veto modification. Um, both wheels one and three, the ledge will start at 90 degrees instead of on top. This obstacle's hands and feet, and your dismount is the red mat. Go for it. There are also two red rings that are in play. That's your clear. We're going to demo the last obstacle before I give you rules, just so it makes a little bit more sense. The obstacle starts on this red mat. You may use the pole and the rings to get started. Jump in, use the pole, up to you. Go for it, Alan. Let's go over the rules for this now. Competitors use a series of rings, bars, and boards to traverse to the dismount. Competitors must engage and use the top board to pull the second board closer. You may not skip straight to the second board. That means you must wait that first top one, bringing the second one closer, and we've tested this enough to know exactly what that looks like. The first point on this obstacle is given when competitor catches the first cliche and touches the met middle red bar. The second point is given when they dismount to this elevated square mat. This obstacle is hands only. This obstacle also has a female modification. The females can skip the first board and cliche straight to that second ledge. It will drop and swing on contact, but they do not have to wait the first board. Uh, you may only touch red throughout this obstacle, whether it's the red rings, the red on the top board, the red ledge, or the red bar. And dismount to the black mat. We will have one more obstacle after this during the competition that we will do an in-person walkthrough for. But for now, this is your stage two course. Good luck to all the competitors.